For nearly a year, the Teachers and Educational Workers Union have been in talks with the Fair Wages and Salaries Commission over their conditions of service. Only yesterday, they declared their official stance in going on a strike. Today, we are at the University of Ghana to get a sense of how things are here. The registration has been quite stressful because we are dealing with uh, relatively a huge number of students now. You know, initially, it used to be all batches that were coming to school. And so if we're dealing with level 100s, we're dealing with only a few number of level 100s. But now, the beds of the level 100s, and, uh, the beds of the level 200s and then 300s, most of them have been added to the number of level 100 beds we have, which means uh, we, we now have a lot of level 100s coming in to register. It has made the registration quite slow, and because of that, we've been able to procure a couple of a couple more of uh, a couple more of computers to facilitate the process. But this morning, I'm sure you are aware of the situation. Uh, the teachers and educational workers union have gone on strike, <coughs> which has made manual registration process. I mean, the resident residential registration process quite slow. Uh, all the workers aren't working including hall assistants who would hand over keys to the students after they are done with their manual registration process. Everyone is not working. So we students and in some um, uh, workers in the school who aren't really part of TEU have taken it upon ourselves to intervene in the situation. So when you go to the rooms where they are doing a manual registration currently, <coughs> you have uh, some students. You have some students and also uh, some service personnel uh, assisting with the process in order for it to move smoothly. And when you come to the hall assistance lodge, where students would come for their keys after they are done with their manual registration, we students have educated ourselves to serve in those roles. So we are going to be there day and night. Any students who is done with their registration process, when they come around, they have students to uh, give their keys to them so they have access to their room. But <coughs> the registration is in two folds. One for continuing students, that is level 400 now, and then one for level 100. So with the level 100, we are doing the registration for them because some of them have been here from Monday because of how slow the process has been, though we've tried to you know, uh, mitigate the situation. But because a lot of people have been here from Monday till now, we want to take care of them. So if you're level 400 and you come today, you're not going to go through the, all the phases of the manual registration process. You're only going to go through the first phase, which is we JCR members or the leaders in the JCR checking your documents to see whether every, everything is intact for your manual registration process. So uh, after afterwards, you go straight to the protest lodge. You show them that your details have been stamped by the leaders of the JCR. You have access to your room at the protest lodge. Yes, and then so yeah, that's that, that's for the level 400s. But for the level 100s, they are still going through the registration process because of their number, and then how long most of them have kept over here today. You are not going to go through the all the phases of the manual registration process. You are only going to go through the first phase, which is we JCR members or the leaders in the JCR checking your documents to see whether every, everything is intact for your manual registration process. So uh, after afterwards, you go straight to the protest lodge. You show them that. Your details have been stamped by the leaders of the JCR. You have access to your room at the protest lodge. Yes, and then so yeah, that's that, that's for the level 400s. But for the level 100s, they are still going through the registration process because of their number and then how long most of them have kept over here. At this point, I do not have any. Probably there has been a concession somewhere, but I personally haven't had anything. But I assure students that until then. We are always available to assist with the process, just so nobody is frustrated or stressed out. Okay. Yes, so what we do here is we check the particulars of the students, both first years and final years. And if everything is intact and they have been through the manual registration process, we give them their keys. Also, when people are leaving the hall, going out or something, they come and sign here, so we are supposed to collect the keys also. Basically, that's what we do here. Presently, I don't know what is happening. We don't know when they are coming back. Um, we are just looking into the issues and we're hoping that uh, they return back to the negotiation table and uh, work resumes as usual. Well, I expect that by next week uh, they are back. Yes, I expect that by next week going they are back. And I'm pleading with the authorities to get back on the negotiation table and address maybe their concerns and we'll get back to because as an SLC today we are doing a whole lot and because of this pressure that has been created this morning as I was here uh, we got a lot of referrals from the horse I don't know who gave them the impression but what we are doing here is just to register people online with respect to their accommodation and also their academic registration we don't allocate horse to people we don't register people into horse but 
because of the absence of this hall assistance, many of them were referred to the SRC decks. We had to uh, return them back to their halls. I mean, we can't do anything about it. So I expect that um, they get back to work as soon as possible. There you have it. We've been speaking to some executives at the Mensa Saba Hall and some students about their plight, telling us about how they are stepping in in the absence of their teachers. For Ghana Web TV, my name is Eche Atisu.